Hey guys, Lee Schaefer here with High Vis LED Lighting and the Firetech brand of lights. I'm here with Captain Melvin and Engine Company One of the Durham Fire Department here in North Carolina. And we're talking about the interesting way uh, that they did their switching for their brow light. So can you tell me a little bit first about what you use the brow light for on the front of the truck? Well, one of the biggest things that uh, our people got back to us about was visibility on the scene. They wanted to make sure when they were approaching the scene or within the scene, we have the ability to see what's going on around us. Whether it's for safety concerns or identifying addresses, they're not marked very well often, or just to be able to make sure that as we're approaching the scene, we can see what's going on in our environment around us to make sure we approach it the safest way. Sometimes we have to, we have a mix of inner city and rural areas at times, and sometimes you're driving down a driveway off a roadway uh, through a yard because we will beat the engine to get access to a structure and get out the way of the ladder. So having the lights to make sure we can see what we're doing and, and they're so amazing. It's like lighting up a football field when you turn them on. We love it. It, it works out great for us. These are the first uh, fire tech lights that you all have had on any trucks, right? With this order of uh, We had one truck that is sort of our, our change that was in the middle of one spec to the new spec. Got and, it. and we were eight. It was a hard fight. Got it. For us to get them on there to practice. We absolutely loved them. That crew absolutely loved it. They said, please don't ever take them away from us. We really realized it was yeah. something we need to add it to our new apparatus. Got it, got it. And these are Suffin trucks, right? These are Suffins. Right. These are our new specs. We have 11 of them total coming in. We have seven that have arrived now. And this is the new spec that our truck committee came up with, which changed drastically. And a huge part of the change was the lighting on the apparatus. Got it. And the interesting thing I wanted to note here with the Suffin trucks is that we have to do this uh, based on the curve, the curve for the truck. It's curved on both the top and on the front. So we have to make our 72 inch brow light into a three piece kit. So that's why it's, you know, on the Suffin trucks, that's why it's on a three piece kit. And the interesting thing about them and the switching that they did on this, so they have their front scene light switch. So that is basically the master power for the whole light. And then over here, they have this toggle switch. So if they want spot only, they can uh, click the light or the switch right up to the top. And then in the middle, they have the whole entire bar. And then on the bottom, they can choose only flood. So this gives them some operating uh, room, uh, room for operating on different scenes and different amounts of lights that are needed at times. And uh, I think that's really interesting. I've never seen it done this way, so. Can you tell us a little bit about what makes these different than uh, some of the trucks y'all have had in the past? All right, one of the biggest things that we did on the front, uh, you'll see the increased lighting on it. We had the ability to come into a scene and light up a scene, but also, um, we have lights that if you're sitting in the vehicle and you approach somebody from the rear, they now can catch your eye. If you come into an intersection from the side, we added more additional lighting. Pumping capability at the front, that's something we hadn't had in the past. That can work for vehicle fires or go inside of a structure fire. Uh, and one of the things when we get around the side apparatus, you see we have no cross blades on this truck and we ran off the rear so we wouldn't have option of a front jump line. One of the bigger things too is the heavy duty bumper at the front because in the past, we got in an accident with a Prius and it actually trapped our firefighter inside. We wanted something sturdier up front to make sure that we protect our people as they're riding down the road. Yeah, and something I wanted to mention real quick is with the uh, halos, the FireTech halos on our headlights, you guys have these alternating instead of the high beam flash, which is pretty cool. The Guardian Elite fixture on the side of the cab. Can you tell us a little bit about that and how you guys use it? So in the past, we didn't have uh, the type, this type of lighting on the side of our apparatus. It gives us, when we approach the scene, to be able to light up the scene. Also, when we step out with the apparatus, it gives some operation. When you step out, you can see where you're going. And it, it is a big use for our organization because it's something that we did not have in the past. We want to make sure that we increase the lightning, which is going to be safer for us. So talking about the side of the body of Engine Company 5, the new, uh, one of the new stuffings that Durham Fire Department has, is the ladders on the external part of the truck. Is that new to you guys? That is new to us. Uh, we had a ladder tunnel in the past. Problem was, if a vehicle came into the back of the truck, you can now not get the ladder out of the back of the truck. So we wanted to make sure we moved the ladders to the exterior of the truck to give us access. And we also have a Zyco brackets for uh, vertically challenged people. They can get access to the ladder. Got it, got it. And this comes down, right? So, yes, got it. All right, so talking about the scene lights on the side of the truck, they use two Guardian Elites similar to the side of the cab, uh, right behind the ladder rack. And uh, those are mounted right up on the side of the truck. Uh, and this is what we would call, you know, a low to mid uh, step sided body uh, on the side of this bumper here. So, uh, you know, the Guardian Elites, we talk about oftentimes when you set them back uh, on an edge, uh, you sometimes get a shadow. And here, when you look at it, you don't actually get that much of a shadow. 
and the area is actually filled in by the undercarriage lights in this particular application and uh, it still gives you that 20,500 lumens of scene light on the side of the body as well. Really cool, uh, I think it, it's kind of a neat spec and uh, a little bit different than what we usually see. So can you tell us a little bit about what's different and what, uh, what you got going on back So here? one of the biggest things we wanted to take care of is making sure that we were placing our apparatus in the appropriate place and we had the appropriate options to deploy lines on the scene. By having the hose come off the rear, we can move the truck out of the way and make sure we have access for the ladder truck to be at the front of the scene. And then we have options, options, options. 200 foot pre-connects, 1.88. Dead loads, 550 foot of two and a half. We have a pre-connected two and a half, which we have not had in the past. We have a 400 foot line, which will give us a long line, which is something we have not had in the past. We also went to four inch, and instead of having five inch and 500 foot of it, we're now going to 800 foot of four inch. Got it. And to light up the size of this so they, you know, they do work off the back. There's no cross lays on these trucks, correct? Correct. There are no cross lays on this. Got truck. it. So to light up this area in the back, they used uh, two WLX9 fixtures, all flood optics in these. And uh, that lights up the whole area. And it also uh, allows them to add some reverse lights to it as well. So can you tell us a little bit about the fire department itself? How many stations you have, things of that nature? We're the city of Durham. Uh, we are a medium-sized city. We have 19 stations, 100. 12 square miles, we service about 300,000 people inside the city limits of Durham, about another 120 that are outside of the county that we are contracted to cover. Got it. And how many engine companies do you have in the city? We're, we're standing in front of two brand new engine companies. Is we that have correct? 16 engine companies and 11 of them are being replaced with this new design apparatus. Got it. And both from Suffin, is that correct? Suffin Corporation? Suffin Corporation. All of our engine companies are Suffin. Got it. So talking a little bit about the, the calls you guys run, what type of calls are you guys uh, running? We are here? a full service department. We do fire, we do EMS at the ALS advanced EMT level. We also have a swift water team, a tactical rescue team, and we're part of a task force team that encompasses Raleigh, Durham, and Chapel Hill that responds throughout North Carolina. Nice. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Like, what's your, uh, so your current position is Captain Engine 1, right? Captain Engine 1, I always wanted to be a firefighter since I was itty bitty kid. Got it. Big wheel had a water hose on it. All, all of everyone done volunteered full time, part time my entire career. I started in 1993. Okay. And I love it. I'm going to go as long as I can. Nice. All right, sounds good. And uh, so, what type of positions have you held in the, in the department? So uh, I started department. off doing the rescue side of it and I loved it. Yeah. it. It was a lot of fun. And then we had disbanded our rescue truck for a while. Yeah. When I got it up, the next best thing was hazmat because we were in a busy part of the city. And it was very interesting because we're a very technologically yeah. advanced area. Got it. Uh, we have Research Triangle Park and Duke, which are big research facilities. And we have a lot of hazmat uh, to deal with real hazmat. Cars. Yeah. So we have a railroad that runs through the city. Okay. right through downtown and I loved it I found it interesting and when I made captain though it was time to get in the inner city on the engine so I could get to work got it I'm all about running into a burner building whenever I can very cool very cool well captain Melvin thank you very much for spending the time with us and talking about the new pumpers uh, we appreciate the time and uh, we appreciate you choosing our products for your new trucks and uh, yeah that's, thank uh, you for visiting the Bull City yeah